everyone, welcome to Team K Fitness Anywhere. I'm Coach Elena, and today I'm going to be taking you through a 30 minute weekend warrior workout. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout today. Just a couple quick reminders before we get started. So, for all benefits of this workout, please stay for its entirety. We want to make sure we get you nice and warmed up, take you through a great 30 minute workout, and have a nice cool down to help you recover for the rest of your day. All right, this workout is intended for Team K Fitness members. If you're not a member of Team K Fitness, that's okay. Stay here with me. I'm so excited you're gonna do this workout with me today. Just make sure you do this workout at your own risk. All right, so we're gonna clear the space. We're gonna use that yoga and mat to the space today. We're first gonna start this workout with a um, full body accumulator workout. Um, no weight, so just body weight for this first section. And now I've got a couple different size weights. We got medium and heavy for our um, super set of upper and lower body exercises at the end. So go ahead and grab those weights, keep them close by, grab your water, grab your towel, and just get ready with a nice smile on your face and let's get some energy rolling here. All right, so we're gonna start with our warm up. We're first just gonna start with a nice arm cross over here, making sure we're holding it above or below that elbow. We don't wanna put pressure wide on that joint. Take a nice deep breath in here for me. Open that back and shoulder up. Slowly exhale and bring the arm down and switch. So give a nice little pull just to make sure we're kind of practicing that packed position. We don't want that ear or that shoulder up to the ear, so kind of get it back and down. Deep breath in. Exhale, wonderful. All right, we're gonna act like we're gonna take a big arm swing. We're gonna pull those arms down for a nice little lat pull. Give a nice chest and shoulder stretch here. And go ahead and take it all the way down. We're gonna do that two more times. So I'm gonna take it on for a big arm swing. Open, pull back. We're gonna breathe here, inhale. Exhale, pull it open. Wonderful, great job. All right, let's go down to the mat for our activation of our upper body. We're gonna place those hands underneath those shoulders. We're gonna be in about a quadrant position. On all fours, knees under those hips. We're gonna pop those shoulders, and all we're gonna do right here, we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together and push that floor away. Just a little squeeze in between those shoulders and push. So we're helping activate and warm up this mid back muscle. Give me two more right here. It's a very small, small movement right here. Last one. Great work. All right, that prime just got us ready for this next move. So now we're going to tuck those toes under. We're going to come to a full plank position. You also can be on a dead knee position here as well. Don't lose that packed shoulder. We're going to practice a little walking plank. So we're going to get that chest and back warmed up, blow the arm. We're gonna walk it down to the forearms, we're gonna hold, and we're gonna slowly press back up. Trying to be careful not to rock, so keep those hips square to the floor as best you can right here. All right, so now we're gonna switch arms. I want you to lead with the other arm down to that forearm. Press, leading with the same arm. You got it, we got one more. Bring it down, bring it up. Woo, bring those knees back down. That's a great way to also get the core active as well. So hopefully you're able to pull your belly button into your spine and really squeeze and kind of brace that core to get that, that low back warmed up and ready. All right, ready to go, come back standing up. We're gonna do a couple things with those legs as well. I first want you to bring your knee towards your chest. A little balance work here. Try to place that big toe, heel, and pinky toe together. We're gonna pull that leg in. If you need to, you can hold something on the side for some balance. We're gonna lengthen. Back glute a little bit there. Other side. Sometimes it helps if you find your eyesight and focus on something. And just watch a spot in the ground. Try to concentrate here. All right, bring that leg down. Good. All right, put those feet underneath those hips. You're going to give me five calf presses. You are going to have the option to do a little bit of jumping work today, but today's workout can be also totally low impact. You don't have to jump for some of these movements. I want to get those ankles nice and warmed up because we'll be kind of moving around in our space today. So I want to make sure those ankles are ready. Last one. Great work. All right, let's roll those ankles out. Do a few clockwise and then switch for counterclockwise. Other leg. Hopefully you guys are feeling great today. You guys are ready to get moving. We got a couple more things to finish that warm up, then we're going to head right into that workout. So I'm going to go ahead and come to one end of my mat. I want you to imagine you've got a mini band with those stair bands on your lower thigh here. We're going to do a mini squat, hips back, core tight. We're going to come down right here. We're going to lateral step the length of our yoga mat. So whatever step you take, make sure that step matches in. And then we're going to reverse. 
So core tight. Step it side to side. There we go. Just like that. One more time. Down and back. So if you have a band, imagine you're trying to open those legs up or warm up that glute medius right here. Try to stay low. Engage that core. Chest up nice and tall. And rest. Great work. All right, your final move. We're going to kind of prime those quads and hamstrings. We're going to reach down towards those toes. Get a nice little stretch in the hamstrings. I want you to bring those hips down. We're going to come into a low squat. Pop those hips back up. Keeping a soft bend in those knees. Bring those hips back down. Back up. You give me one more. Enjoy that stretch right here. Get down. And up. Slowly roll the head up. Hold up your last head. It comes up nice and tall. All right. I'm going to move side to side here. We're going to head straight into our accumulator. All right. So what that means is we're going to go through five exercises, five total. Okay? You've got one round of this accumulator, but the exercise we start with first, we will do for a total of five times. The exercise we do last, we're only going to do for one round. So we've got technically five rounds, but the first move, after we complete this exercise, we rest, and then we start again. We start with move number one, and we add move number two. So we're going to be adding a piece each round, okay? All right, so this first one, we're going to start with some basic squats. we got ten reps. You can turn these into squat jumps if you want, but first round, let's do some squats. Make sure everything's moving right for us today. So we'll start toes straight ahead, shoulders back and down. Ready, set, here we go. So send those hips back. Behind us, core tight, chest up nice and tall. Push that midfoot and squeeze those glutes as you stand up. Inhale down, exhale up. Last one, and 10, good. All right, so side to side. We're gonna start back over. This time we've got 10 squats. Then we're gonna add 30 seconds of skater. So as soon as we finish our 10 reps, skater side to side, 30 seconds. Just like that, we're going to go straight into it. In three, two, and go. So you got 10 squats or 10 squat jumps. So if you want to go a little quicker, the squat jumps are going to come into play here. Remember, listen to your body. Make sure we're properly warm before we go into that higher impact exercise. Last two, straight into those skaters for me. Step back, behind. So you can do a little step tap right here. Seeking that chest lifted. You can make a bigger hop to the side. Make sure that knee is over that ankle. You don't want that knee turning in. Breathe through. Use those arms for some momentum. You got it. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one. Side to side. All right, so now we've got one, two, and three. Our third move is gonna be a hand release push-up. So as soon as we finish that skater on that next round, on those knees, on those toes, come down, move those hands up, and push. It's gonna allow you to have greater range of motion in your push-up. It's gonna be harder, but you're gonna feel that in the chest so much more and save some stress from your shoulders and traps. All right, round three, ready, set, and go. So 10 squats, or 10 squat jumps. I'm gonna try the squat jumps this round. Lay it soft, you're choosing this option. Woo, all right, finish your 10. 30 seconds, skaters, in three, two, and one. Side to side. Again, that yoga mat is a great reference point Woo, to try to guide yourself into that skating motion. So it can be smaller, it can be quicker, you can even add a little reach if you want to make this a little more challenging. We're still trying to keep that chest up tall. So if we reach, we don't want to bend down, we want to stay up, lifted, and rest. All right, hand raise push ups. Come down to the mat, on the knees or the toes. Ready, set, and go. Feel like it not warm up. 
Draw that belly button in. Keep your core nice and tight. Hips square to the floor. Lift those hands just a little bit. Push that floor away to drive through. Tap those shoulders. Woo, you're doing great. Breathe through it. Last one. Wonderful job. All right, how are we doing so far? We got two more pieces to add. So we've got squats, skaters, hand release push ups. Now we're going to add some inchworms, okay? So typically you may see us add these in a warm up, like an active recovery, but we're working everything on these. So it's going to be a nice little break before our final move. So we're going to walk it out, plank, walk it back. This is going to be 30 seconds. So we're alternating 10 reps and a 30 second exercise. All right, we ready, set, here we go. 10 squats or 10 squat jumps. So choosing those squats, hips back, lean on those jumps. Woo, great work. You've got it, finish strong. Skaters, three, two, one, 30 seconds. There we go. You gotta use those arms here. Help balance you out a little bit too. That means you can tip forward or go back. You gotta leave you a little quick side of you here. So step back and over. It's not just your big steps. Remember, we're protecting that knee. You don't want the knees coming in, okay? Stay strong and rest. Hand release push ups. 10, straight to our inchworms, three, two, and go. Down, lift, press. Inhale that way down, exhale on that way up. You guys are doing a great job, keep it up. Last one. Push up, toes up, straight in that inchworm. 30 seconds, here we go. Now this inchworm, you can practice setting a strong plank or you come back up. So always take a soft bend in that knee, walk it out, strong and steady, bend those knees, walk it back in, I want you to come all the way up. Practice strong that core in. Brace it. Keep it tight. In three, two, and one. Great work. That was the end of round four. We've got one final piece to add. Let's go ahead and grab a quick drink of water. Towel off a little bit here if you need to. You need to tighten that little ponytail bun like me. Go ahead. Final move, final addition. So, we're going to go through all four of those exercises we just did. We're going to add 10 burpees, all right? So, we get burpee options. So, as soon as you come up to that last inchworm, so we're here, hands down. You can step or hop your feet out to that strong plank. You're either going to step or hop those feet in wide. Stand up, all right? So, we're hopping or stepping those feet in wide to protect that back. So, we squeeze those glutes, squeeze those legs stand up. That's going to be our final addition of 10 reps. We'll start from the top. Squat or squat jumps. Ready, set, and go. Here we go. Keep breathing. There's seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Down those legs. All right, skaters in three, two, one, side to side. Breathe it out. Just keep your body moving. So we need a little step touch right here. That is great. To add that lateral movement, that side to side work we're going for right here. There it is. Come on, push through. 
four, three, two, one. Great work. All right. Push ups, hand release. We've got 10. Ready, set, and go. So down, press it up. You need a little lift. Those hands right next to the chest. That way that chest can lead. Push. Woo, get that full power. Last one. There it is. Tuck those toes. Inchworm. 30 seconds. Straight into it. This is our last round. This is why it's inchworm. Comes in handy, right, for those burpees. Breathe it out. Deep breath in. Exhale, walk it back up. You got it. Give me one more. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're coming down. Walk it out, hop it out for 10. Your choice. You can add a little extra hop at the top. Go at your pace. Strong plank. Shoulders over the wrist. Don't let those shoulders fall back. So that's why it's okay to walk it out. Make sure in a good, strong form so you can build from that plank. Last one. Woo! Great work, you guys. All right, move side to side. Catch your breath. Grab that water. Go ahead and get your weights close by. We're gonna start with a lower body exercise and superset it with an upper body. We're gonna focus a little bit more on those arms and shoulders today with our upper body. So I'm gonna grab one heavy weight. If you only have two mediums, you can grab two mediums and hold them right here, okay? We're gonna be in a front wrapped position, shoulders back and down. Our first exercise is a weighted side lunge, okay? So big step, hips back. We've got 12 total. So the goal is we're stepping, hips hinge back, pushing off the midfoot of the step, the foot, that moves to the side, okay? We're gonna superset that with an upright row and a lateral raise. So, upright row position. We're gonna go to the lighter weight, shoulders back. We're bringing those weights up and back towards the corner of the ceiling, okay? So be careful not to pull them up here. Up and back. Get those elbows up. So we're gonna do one upright row, single arm raise, row, Single arm raise. That is two. Okay? So we're gonna go through two rounds. Weighted side lunge. Upright row to front raise. Two rounds. Okay? Do 12 of each. Whew. But the good news is that 12 includes both sides. Alright, so get your weight up. You can choose your medium weights or you can choose one of your heavy weights. Side lunges. Let's start going to the right in three, two, and one. Big step. Send those hips back. So right now, let's just get that movement. Doesn't matter how low we're going here to see it. Want those hips back first, that nice hinge, and then we get that knee bending a little bit more. There we go. Breathing through, inhale. Exhale, push it up, last one each side. All right, you're gonna set that weight down. Or if you got your two mediums, hold tight. All right, upright row with that front raise. Get those shoulders back and down. Ready, set, and go. Upright row, front raise. Make sure those traps are doing too much of that leading work. So make sure those shoulders are back and down before we pull it up. There it is, nice job. 
right, we're on number 10. Two more. Woo, take it down. All right, back to that weighted lunge. Get ready. This can also be done body weight. You don't want to add your resistance here. I like to add a little bit of weight up front just to encourage that nice tall position and to prevent falling forward. 12 reps. Three, two, and go. We set our side step. Hinge it back. Breathe for me. Come on. There we go. Once you get more comfortable, you work on going a little deeper. Four left. Last two. Nice work. Set that weight down. All right, upright row to front weight. All right, shoulders back and down. Lock and low, lock them in. Ready, set, here we go. So a couple other things to think about in this position is kind of keeping your knees soft because we don't want to rely on our full body to lift this weight up. Just knees soft. And keeping your core nice and tight right here. Again, we want this focus to be on the upper body. So we're gonna hit in that upper back. And then we're getting those shoulders. We come to that front raise. And we don't want to swing with this resistance. We want to be in control. Last two. And bring it down. Great work. All right, we got two final exercises. Same style, we're gonna do a lower body exercise. Complement it with a nice arm upper body exercise. So our first move, go ahead and grab both your heavier weights for this one. We're gonna do an RDL. We're gonna put a little more focus in those hamstrings and glutes here. So we're gonna imagine we've got a nice little table in front of us. We're gonna pack those shoulders back and down. We're gonna send those hips towards the back wall. So we're coming down, but we can't go past tabletop position. So that table cut us off. So his weights are gonna come about mid chin. Squeeze the booty. Stand it up, okay? So, let the weights guide down to mid chin, keep that core tight, back flat. Drive it up. And that's gonna be our first move. Our second exercise, we're gonna grab those lighter weights. We've got some Arnold presses. We've got a bicep curl. Rotate it out for a shoulder press. And then we come back down the same way. So curl. Rotate it out to field goal, press, field goal, bring it back in, reverse curl, okay? So those are gonna be our two moves for this next section. Two rounds, and then we're gonna stretch it out. You guys ready? Thumbs up, feeling good? All right, let's grab those heavier weights. All right, hips come back, shoulders back, ready, set, here we go. So you've got 12. So remember that tabletop position I taught you. So keep that core tight. Don't let that back arch around forward. So by packing those shoulders, that should help you keep the weight more controlled and prevent you from rounding. This is rounding. So we want to lock it in. Hold it up. Please. Those glutes. Last two. A soft knee. Woo! So we don't want to go too low. We don't want to do too much of a squat now. This is more of a you know, rhythm that's been to the hamstrings. Those knees are just soft. We don't want to lock them out. They're soft, keeping you protected, okay? All right, medium weight. Arnold presses. So bicep curl. We're going to take it out. Add a shoulder press. 12 reps. In three, two, and go. So curl. Take it out, press it up. And to reverse that motion on the way back down. If you're watching me, stick with me in my pace. A little bit easier to mirror someone, a shadow them, to help you get this move down. There it is. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two, 
Last one. Great job. Woo. All right, set those weights down. We got one more set. All right, gives us a chance to perfect those moves we just learned, right? All right, so we're gonna go back to that RDL, that Romanian day lift. All right, let's start feet under those hips, nice strong foundation. Shoulders back and down, draw that belly in. Ready, set, here we go. Hips back, weights come down mid shin. The hamstrings, those glutes, pulling up. So again, kind of pushing through that mid foot. The power you through right here. There's eight, give me four more. Three. Two. And one. All right, set those heavier weights down. Last set of those Arnold presses. Get ready, set, and go. The curl, press it up. There's two. So you're gonna watch me. This transition can be a little tougher when you're first learning this exercise. So it helps if you're shadowing me. There we go. So you curl, open it up, and then press. So try to keep those arms wide when you're opening and transitioning that movement. There we go. Show you from the side. So field goal, bring it in. Elbows are still lifted high. Come down. So curl. Rotate, press. All right, give me three more. In three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and set that weight down. We're gonna move side to side. We just did a nice 30 minute we can wear your total body workout. That's one thing I love about doing this workout on the weekend is that 30 minutes, we can do that, right? We can, we can spare 30 minutes out of our day to get hit a little bit of everything, give us the most bang for our buck, get a lot of things moving, so we can have a successful weekend and feel excited about the rest of our day. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do a couple stretches to cool down before we, before we say goodbye, all right? We'll make sure that we end this workout helping aid in our recovery. Okay, so let's take that right foot forward. I want you to kind of swoop those arms down and reach towards your toes, keeping a soft bend in that knee, placing some support on that other thigh. Deep breath in here, exhale, nice and big. Slowly bring it up, switch sides. There we go, all right. So my homework for you today is to make sure you drink plenty of water, okay? Hydration and movement is the key to help you in your recovery. So make sure you rehydrate, continue to move, continue to stretch throughout this weekend. The more you move, the better you'll feel, I promise. All right, slowly bring it up. Good work. All right, take a nice wide step here. We're gonna come, we're gonna sit ourselves to the right. Side lunge, hold. We're gonna stay in this nice big stance here. Hold, open up those hips. Deep breath in. There we go, switch sides. So the hips hinge back. Shift that weight over. We're gonna feel a nice inner thigh stretch here. Come back to center. We're gonna slowly walk those feet back in. Great job. All right, we're gonna take one foot forward, step through. We're gonna have a nice the old goal post here stretch. So we're imagining you're stepping through a doorway and you can't walk through. So we're opening up the chest and the shoulder here. Deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, bring those arms down. Final stretch. We're gonna lace those fingers out in front, we're gonna open up that back. We're gonna push, open up those shoulders, create some space back there. Deep breath. And bring it down nice and easy. Thank you guys so much again for joining me for this 30 minute weekend warrior workout. I'm Coach Elena and feel free to comment below or come see a Team K Fitness professional on site at our center if you have any questions. But remember this was Team K Fitness anywhere. You can just work out anywhere at home, on site. We're so glad you chose to be with us here today. We will see you guys next time. Have a great weekend.